Hi, this is Richard Burdick, and I have a teaching video for you today. Um, the topic today is to buzz or not to buzz, that is the question, or to sing or not to sing, that is also the question. So many people are talking about buzzing right now. Buzzing is important. I had a, a teacher once that said, don't come back until you can buzz duets with me and um, buzz any note, that kind of thing. I never went back, but I did learn it. Um, for me, I tell my students, if you can buzz in a nice S curve from middle to high to low and back without any jumps, just a nice smooth buzz. Let's try this jump. Basically with no jumps, like like that. If you can do that, you don't have to practice the buzzing. If you jump like I did a couple times, maybe I need to touch up on it. But um, uh, then the next step I want to show you is what actually happens when I'm playing the horn. So I'm going to get this loose and I'm going to play uh, C, what is it, fourth space? It's a very slight buzz, a lot of air, but somewhat buzz. Now I'm going to go down an octave to middle C, concert F. Oh, very slight buzz. It's really, it's more air, and especially if I go down a fourth to G, concert C. What I'm seeing is that because of the back pressure of the horn blowing into this small hole with a fair amount of pressure from the length of tubing, the buzz, which is mostly air, actually becomes a buzz. Now, if I'm going to approach the horn playing like I would a buzz, if I were to play like that, I need to play this one soft, so I can't really approach it that way. Let's try it again. It's okay. But um, I have a, an exercise that counteracts the buzz. And I heard Phil Myers do this. I call it the do-we-ah. So I take a pitch, any pitch, it's easier in the low register, so we'll start there. Do, and then you bend with your lips, tighten up, bend with your lips, and then as you go back up to the pitch you started on, open up. So we want to increase the space in the lips. So we're gonna go do-we-ah. <laughs> I'm going to restart with the ah and try to go ah, more ah. But I also want to keep it soft. And we'll go up a fifth. So after I've achieved the awe of the dewy awe, I now have more airflow, less tight, less buzzy lips. And furthermore, I now feel like I'm singing. So I'm going to go the next step. And I'm going to go do, 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 do. And I'm actually going to work on that. Do, do, 
do do do, and now I'm gonna apply that singing style. It's not enough voice. So now, in the few examples I've given you of this Brahms excerpt, I'm most happy with the one where I actually started by singing, singing. Because I think what is actually happening is the air is coming out. Actually, I've expanded so the air is coming out naturally. And my voice is resonating, but I'm actually going. And I'm not going. It's not that at all. So, in my belief, the answer is not to buzz, learn it, and use it once in a while, forget about it, and sing. Open up and sing, and do your dewey ahs. Thanks for listening today.